In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome, my dear friends, to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Banawag. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Monica, the mother of St. Augustine. And so as we gather, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who consoled the sorrowful and who mercifully accepted the motherly tears of St. Monica for the conversion of her son, Augustine, grant us through the intercession of them both that we may bitterly regret our sins and find the grace of your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Consider your own calling, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. Rather, God chose the foolish of the world to shame the wise. And God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong. And God chose the lowly and despised of the world, those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing those who are something, so that no human being might boast before God. It is due to him that you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, as well as righteousness, sanctification, and redemption, so that, as it, it is written, whoever boasts should boast in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Bless the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven, the Lord looks down, he sees all mankind. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. But see, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. For in him our hearts rejoice. In his holy name we trust. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Please stand. commandment love one another as I have loved you the Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew glory to you O Lord Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to a third one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. Immediately the one who received five talents went and traded with them and made another five. Likewise, the one who received two made another two. 
But the man who received one went off and dug a hole in the ground and buried his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants came back and settled accounts with them. The one who had received five talents came forward bringing additional five. And he said, Master, you gave me five talents, so I have made five more. And his master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small, small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received two talents also came forward and said, Master, you gave me two talents. See, I have made two more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come share your master's joy. Then the one who had received the one talent came forward and said, Master, I knew you were a demanding person, harvesting where you did not plant, and gathering where you did not scatter. So out of fear, I went off and buried your talent in the ground. Here it is back. But his master said to him, You wicked and lazy servant, you knew that I harvest where I did not plant and gather where I did not scatter. Should you not then have put my money in the bank so that I could have got it back with interest on my return? Now then, take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten. For to everyone who has, more will be given and he will grow rich. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And lo, this useless servant in the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. May their friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Marahil ay nakapagtataka po yung mga salita at wika ng ating Panginoong Jesus sa Ibanghelyo. Alam ho natin na si Jesus ay malapit sa mga taong mahihirap. Alam natin na malapit ang loob ng ating Panginoon sa mga taong kapos, walang wala. Bagkos kung makikita natin yung Ibanghelyo ngayon, ay tila bagang kabaliktaran ang nangyayari. He's trying to condemn the person who has only one talent. Kung sino pa yung walang wala, napakakakaunti lang meron siya, kinuha pa sa kanya. And so what is the point in today's parable? Take note, this is just a parable. We don't need to take this literally. Huwag niyong isipin na kung anong meron kayo ngayon, porque kunti lang yan, mawawala pa yan. This is just a parable wherein Jesus wanted to say something about the value of giving that sense of prudence and sense of responsibility in all the talents or gifts that God has given us. Ang punto po ng Ibanghelyo ay kung paano natin binibigyan ng halaga kung anong meron tayo. I believe lahat tayo ay may biyaya, lahat tayo may kakayahan, at lahat pong ito ay mga biyaya mula sa Diyos. Ngayon, ang nais ipaalala sa atin ng, ng ating Ibanghelyo, paano mo ba sinasabuhay ang mga ito? Yung pakikipag-usap sa kapwa, pakikitungo sa kapwa, ay mismong isang biyaya sa Diyos, isang kakayahan. Paano mo ba sinasabuhay ang biyaya ng pakikitungo mo sa kapwa? Yung pagkakaroon ng mga blessing, material blessings, pagkakaroon, pagiging sagana sa buhay, hindi sa'yo yan. Biyaya yan galing sa Diyos. Ang tanong, paano mo sinasabuhay ang mga material na bagay na ipinagkaloob sa iyo. Madamot ka ba o mapagbigay ka? Sabi ko kanina, yung pakikitungo mismo, it's a skill. Paano mo sinasabuhay yan? Suplada ka ba? Maldita ka ba? Masungit ka ba? O mapaghusga ka ba? Marites ka ba? Sabi nila. O may respeto ka sa kapwa mo. 
yung mga education, yung education attainment natin, kung anong naabot natin, tayo nakatapos ng high school, college, or may master's, de master's degree. Biyaya yan. Ang tanong, paano mo sinasabuhay ang pagkakaroon ng mga biyayang ito? Take note, the gospel talks about being entrusted. Ipinagkaloob sa atin ito. Hindi lang binigay, ipinagkaloob pa ito sa atin. Ibig sabihin, nasa iyong desisyon mo kung paano mo gagamitin, paano mo isasabuhay ang mga biyayang ito. At this is the point of the three, three men. May tatlong tao. Yung isa binigyan ng lima, sinabuhay niya ng mabuti. Pinangalagaan niya ito at ibinahagi niya. Naging, ma, naging makahulugan ang pagsasabuhay niya sa mga biyayang binigay ng Diyos sa kanya. Kaya binigyan pa ng mas marami. Alam mo, totoo yan. Kapag nakikita ng Diyos na tayo mapagbigay sa kapwa, kapag nakikita ng Diyos, hindi natin pinagdadamot ang mga biyaya, ay nako. Hindi lang babalik yan. Doble pa ang babalik. Naniniwala ba kayo sa kasabihang the more you give, the more you will receive. Hindi naman sa ibig sabihin maging materialistic ang utak natin. No? What I mean, something will definitely be for us. E yung pangatlong servant, binigyan ng isa, kasi depende kasi yan sa kakayahan mo. Eh. So, pinagkaloob sa kanya yung isa. Kaso, hindi niya binigyan ng halaga. Hindi naging makahulugan ang pagsasabuhan ng biyayang ipinagkaloob sa kanya. Kaya, kahit nag-iisa lang yun, nawala pa. Minsan, ganun sa buhay. Kapag hindi tayo maingat sa mga biyayang ipinagkaloob sa atin, kapag ginagamit natin ito sa kasamaan, yung tipong ginagamit natin ito dahil upang maging umangat lang, maging sagana lang to the point na may inaapakan tayong katwa, nako, sige, totoo yan. Ngayon, masaya ka. Ngayon, sagana ka. O tatandaan natin, ayon sa kwento ng Ebanghelyo, may hangganan din. Kaya mamili tayo. Ang buhay natin mismo ay ipinagkaloob. Ano ba ang nanaisin natin? Yung panghabang buhay o pang pan, kunting panahon lamang? Kung meron mang isang bagay na dapat nanaisin natin na panghabang buhay, mga kapatid, ito yung ito. Peace of mind and peace of heart. Panghabang buhay ito. Mas maging makahulugan ang buhay, mas makahulugan ang biyana ng buhay kapag tayo'y namumuhay na may mapayapang kalooban. We all stand. When we appear before the judgment seat of God, we will have to account for our use and misuse of the gifts entrusted to us. In prayer, we seek the help of our Creator. And for every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may always use the many different gifts of her members. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government officials may respect God's plan by protecting and promoting the value of creation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all people may share in the earth's resources and that everyone may cooperate in bringing human and economic development to our country. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That doctors, nurses, and those in the healthcare profession may use their gifts to bring Christ's love and compassion to the poor, the lonely, the sick, and the imprisoned. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That eternal rest be granted upon our deceased relatives and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to remain faithful in the small things of life so that we may be entrusted with greater ones. When we come into your kingdom, we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, may their fans that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, as we bring you these sacrificial gifts to commemorate Saint Monica, humbly entreating that they may show to us both pardon and salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church faithful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the two fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Monica, Saint Augustine, and all the saints have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say... every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy in us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say
Let us pray. May the working of this divine sacrament enlighten and inflame us, Almighty God, on this feast day of Saint Monica, that we may be ever fervent with holy desires and abound in good works through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 2, 2022. We invited you to participate in our Novena Masses, which will start from September 23 to October 1, 2022. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online pamisa. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now do the prayer of the blessing of the sick and the blessing of all your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, that they may free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawang. May all your rosaries, images, candles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh, beautiful man.